This is um, David Macko from um, Solon, Ohio, and we're here at the Hessler Street Fair. Um, you said there were some uh, mistakes that were made on the website. Yes, uh, the American Renaissance group is not a hate group. Can I, um, can I ask a favor? Can we go somewhere where sure. we're not interrupting anyone? Um, the American Renaissance group is not a hate group. It merely wants to preserve white people's existence. Black people have a right to exist. Oriental people have a right to exist. American Indians have a right to exist. So do white people. Do you believe that um, they will do it at the expense of people of color? It's not necessary to do it at anyone's expense. Mm -hmm. As a libertarian, I don't believe in initiating force or fraud on anyone. Well, see, here's my issue. He's, he's been our issue with the American Renaissance. American Renaissance um, has pushed for um, separation, or, or as I see it, segregation. And um, they do have this idea that blacks and um, blacks are genetically inferior to whites, therefore it justifies marginalizing okay. black people in Let's general. Let's take the segregation issue first. Mm -hmm. Compulsory segregation ended. No state in the United States has compulsory mm -hmm. segregation. That's proper. The government shouldn't tell people who, who to associate with. Uh -huh. On the other hand, we shouldn't have compulsory integration either. That's just as wrong. And on a national level, it's worse to the extent that if you don't like compulsory segregation in Alabama, you can move up to Ohio. Whereas if you don't like compulsory integration all over the United States, your only choice is to leave the country. But what would be your suggest? What would be your example of a compulsory integration? Uh, laws telling you who you may not ad hire, who you may not uh, sell your home or rent your home to. But can but can you tell somebody what neighborhoods they are allowed to live in? I have no. I would I'm not just tell. I would not tell anyone what neighborhood they're allowed to uh, decide. No, if you're a citizen of the United States or a mm -hmm. lawful guest, you should live wherever you can buy a home or wherever that you was, can rent a home. Yeah, because that was one of the issues that we had with Shaker yeah. Heights. That was one of the issues back then. I mean, you you lived around here, I guess. Back then, I, I'm from New Jersey, so um, I lived I, on Union Avenue uh, in Cleveland in okay. 1966. Okay, so you know what the, um, you know what the deal was with Shaker Heights and all that. Mm -hmm. So um, that was um, so, and you saw the issues. You saw how they how um, communities were pretty much actually using the laws to try to keep African Americans out. There should be no laws preventing people from going to rent or buy a home wherever they want. On the other hand, people shouldn't be forced to sell or forced to rent to people they don't want to. That's freedom. Okay, now, the other question that I have... that part in. Oh, no, everything's staying in. Good, this is uncut. Good, good. Um, the, question, the other question that I have is, what do you do when you, when you start noticing that citizens are trying to use a... Ba basically trying to backdoor... Um, in, uh, segregation define, and marginalizing define, constitutional define law. Yourself. Right. Define well, yourself. Well, when you say that there shouldn't be any compulsory integration or compulsory segregation, I'll be fair. Um, when you say that, the problem is, is that there seems to be this idea among certain libertarians out there, like Ron Paul and such, that says that somehow... Wait, may I interrupt? Okay. Ron Paul is the greatest living American statesman. I urge all of you to vote for him. I our would country, not. Yeah, our right. Country <laughs> is, our country is sick. It needs a doctor to heal it. Yeah, but he thinks I'm the virus. <laughs> no, that's not. So, right. no. so I'm... Actually, you brought up one other issue. He's also... Uh, he, uh, now, he know, did no, take wait, money wait, from you, white supremacists, so I will... Uh, from neo-Nazis, no less. You brought up one... That's not correct. Don uh, Black! He's not a neo-Nazi. Don Black is a neo-Nazi. Let me get back to the inferiority, <laughs> superiority issue. Okay. The only way to determine superiority or inferiority of any race or group is its ability to survive. Right now, it looks like the blacks and the Hispanics and everyone else has a better ability to survive than white people. <laughs> so by that definition, if white people don't survive, then we have to recognize by objective standards that we would be the inferior ones. I don't want us to be inferior, I want us to survive. But, sir, this can be done in liberty. It does not require government force. As for Don Black, he is not a white supremacist, he is a white preservationist. 
I don't know. Uh, I have uh, never heard. You I do recall what he did about 20 years ago, right? <laughs> 30 or 40 years ago. He might have supported He should compulsory. still be in jail for what he did. <laughs> I don't recall. Uh, what do you claim he did? Dominica? Oh, yes. There were allegations. He was, allegations? Uh, he went to jail for three years. Okay, but he got out. <laughs> <laughs> He shouldn't have. Hey, don't you believe people deserve a second chance? I believe lots of people deserve second chances, but by the same token, right, he squandered I believe, his. I believe almost every. Let's just say I don't trust murderers them. Murderers or, or traitors. <laughs> Let's uh, just say I don't I trust them. I have met him at a few meetings over the last decade. He has, during that time, I have never heard him uh, support compulsory segregation. That's. But he has. But he has. He has. He has called for People a separate state. He has, called, he has pushed for a separate state. Yeah. There's tons of stuff on Stormfront that you can I find. Not, I do not support a separate state. Okay. Yeah, like we're gonna All right, then you anything you want to say to just wrap up? Yeah, yeah vote Libertarian or vote for Ron Paul. All right, then. Okay. I look forward to seeing that on that. It's going to stay.